What's up? My name's Levi, I'm from Shreds. You already know. You might be wondering, why is this guy dressed like Peter Smolik? <laughs> None of your business. Where well, I'm about to tell you everything you need to know about Bones Bears. People always asking, what's up with Bones? You came to the right place. You already know, we're gonna cover the history of Bones bearings, why they don't use ABAC ratings, the difference between Reds and Swiss, and we're gonna generally cover the whole line, let you know what's up. That's right. Bones Bearings, it's owned by George Powell. That's right, George Powell from Powell and Peralta. So back in the 1980s, back before y'all were conceived, people were trying to buy bearings, trying to go fast. Bearings all sucked or they were too expensive. So George Powell, he went on a jet plane, baby. He cruised across the world trying to find some bearings that were lit and show enough, we got bones. So on your boy's travels across the world, he ended up in Switzerland. You know, that really tight little place? He found some hot honeys, then he found a really, really nice, high quality bearing factory, and he worked with them day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out, to come up with the first skateboard specific bearings. And here we are. The next thing we get asked all the time, people coming in, why don't Bones have an ABEC rating? We're about to tell you. You might ask yourself, what's an ABEC rating? Well, basically it goes one, three, seven, nine, one being the slowest, nine being the quickest. The crappy thing about the ABAC rating system is it doesn't take into account the durability of the bearing or how long it's gonna last. So Bones, through lots of testing, they found a lot of inconsistency in this rating system. They found a lot of times in a skateboard wheel, ABEC 1 would outperform ABEC 9. Think of it like a Formula One racing car. They go fast, really high performance, really good precision, but that same car on the off-road derby, it's not gonna handle so well, it's not gonna hold up. So this is just like the super fast bearings that they put in a piece of machinery where it stands still and it's moving really quick. You take that same bearing, it's not gonna handle so well on a skateboard wheel when it's being jarred around. So Bones, all their bearings are called skate rated because all the materials and the thought process, it's all with skateboarding in mind for skateboarding. So peeps are always rolling in, hollering at me, what's the difference between a red ceramic and a Bones ceramic? I'm like, dang, get off my back, but I'm about to tell you. So I'm gonna tell you, any Bones bearings with the word Swiss on it, they're made in Switzerland. Really high-end, really good materials. Switzerland is known for their precision. We're talking Rolex, we're talking Swatch, we're talking Toblerone. So basically, people were loving Bones Swiss. They were rolling nice, they were smooth, they were killing it, but the price, dang, it was way too high for some of these people. So they took the same design, took it over to China, and now boom, we got the Reds design bearings, making that price point for you, the average skater. Now we're gonna go through the whole line, show you the difference between all the bearings, from the bottom price point to the top price point. So we're gonna start with the Swiss line, Bones Swiss. That's the very first design. Man, it's elite. You're gonna hear all the other brands, they're comparing their brands to it, saying, man, this is as fast as Bones Swiss. The next step up in the Swiss line is the Bones Six Ball. Count them, one, two, three, four, five, six. They only have six balls, regular bearing has seven. And the reason they do this is because it makes it stronger and faster. So the next one up is the Bone Swiss Labyrinth. That's your classic Bone Swiss bearing, but now with an L2 shield on it, basically less friction, less drag. So when you're cruising away from the cops, you're gonna be going way too fast, they on your tail, but not no mo, about to get it. The next one up in the Swiss line is the Bone Swiss Ceramics. Man, these are the top, they're in a league of their own. This is basically like the Bugatti of the bearing world. Okay, we don't sell too many of them. They are so expensive, but basically, if you ballin', get them. In these bearings, they have ceramic balls in there instead of steel. These are harder, stronger, lighter, less friction, and they don't rust. Man, they are tight. So starting in the Reds line, we're gonna start at the entry level bearing, that's Bones Reds. It's basically the same skateboard design tested Bones Swiss bearing design, made in China, less than half the price. So next one up is the Super Reds. It's basically the upgraded version. We got upgraded steel, so it's faster, stronger, smoother. So at the top of the Reds line, we have the Super Red Ceramics. They're similar in design to the Swiss Bone Ceramics in that the ball bearings are made of ceramics, so they're smoother, lighter, faster. But these ones are made in China versus the other ones made in Switzerland. I'm some shady, you sound the real shady, other you other some shadies are just in my tip. Oh dang guys, I gotta go, it's the police! Thank you all so much for watching! Oh no! Look, I got my bones with ceramic!
<laughs> You're in the hood, it's the dark time, you know, nighttime, people sleeping. We're creeping in the streets. We go, we're about to steal a car. You know, we all steal cars, that's how it is. All right, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it.